everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maggie. If this is your first time stopping by, I hope you decide to like and subscribe and click the notification bell. Come back, check out some of the other content I have on my channel. Uh, today, as you saw from the uh, title of this video, this is a Dollar Tree haul. I've only been operating with one car, so it's really impeded my ability to get out and do the shop with me's that I really like to do. And I usually like going in the mornings when there's like maybe one or two other people in the uh, in the store itself. So I the chances of running into them and then thinking, why are you filming me? You know, oh God, I got to clean up. Look at the mess back there. Anyway, this is a devotion squirrel, you know, anyway. Okay. So getting into this, I have some, I've noticed some new cleaning products that I picked up and there's some Christmas things. It's only three bags, but there's a, quite a few things in these bags. So we'll start off with the Oxidol uh, multi-surface cleaner. Uh, this is the lemongrass and sage. It's called Bold Sense. I really could do away with that. I don't like it. They also had a lavender fragrance. They may have had one more. I had to smell it in... This has a very nice lemony, herby smell to it, which to me, I don't think is that bad. It removes grease, dirt, and grime with a bold scent, and it's plant-based. So that's nice. I'm hoping the nozzle is not going to fail me as others have had, but there's that. I also needed to get some base um, cleaners. I got two of them. They're supposed to do the same thing, but they're the same price. First was the... Totally awesome brand, Oxygen Base Cleaner. I like putting a scoop of this into my laundry. Um, it says Power Oxygen Base Cleaner, chlorine free. And this is 15 ounces. But the Oxidol also had a 15 ounce base cleaner, Power Oxygen Base Cleaner, that has the sticker on it. So apparently Oxidol is becoming a Dollar Tree brand. But I wanted to try them. It's the same same product, different price. I'm going to do a little experiment and see if there's a difference between the two. Totally awesome. I've never had a problem with them. Okay. And this last thing I noticed, and I picked up four of them, was the Neat Brand Bleach Tablets. These are the linen scented, and they had the other ones. There's 10 tablets per tube. And they said, it's easy to keep your hard surfaces clean, fresh, and your laundry whiter and brighter. One tube, one whole tube is equivalent to a half gallon of liquid bleach. So if you were to dump all of this into powerful cleaning action and a concentrated bleach tablet, and there's instructions on the side. Of course, you do have to keep it out of reach of children. You're supposed to remove the cap, break and remove Hold on, let me see what it says here. Break and remove the safety seal, then push the cap up with your thumb. See the drawing on the cap, okay. Wash your hands after use with soap and water. See the right panel for more information. I'm looking at... For a regular load, add one tablet to the washing machine dispenser. Then to start the dissolving process, add water to submerge the tablet or add one tablet into the washer, uh, then add the clothes. Okay, so you can throw this, you got to run the water first, throw this in there into the water so it start, starts to dissolve and then throw your clothes in. So that's normally what I do anyway with all my detergents and stuff. But if you're someone who throws the laundry in, then adds the soap and stuff, you'll have to change the way you do things. But you can just add this into the water and all the instructions are on the side. I got these because I thought they would be a little bit safer than the liquids. Because, you know, when you're cleaning with that, it can splash on you and everything else. So they have these in tablet form. One whole tube makes a half gallon of bleach. So there's that. Thought I'd give that a try. Okay, next I found some Christmas items. They do have, I picked up two each of this pom-pom. I was looking for the red. They didn't have any of the red. All they had was the green and white, which is fine. I do crafts with these things, and I use them to, you know, help. Uh, I use these when I make costumes for my granddaughter, although I did use the white pom-pom as a garland 
for my granddaughter's Christmas tree in her bedroom. It's a little three or four foot tree that I'd gotten for work. And when I left that workplace and didn't have an office and was working from home, I wasn't going to throw a Christmas tree away. So I just put it up in her room and there's all kinds of fun ornaments on there for her to enjoy. And now Nora, who likes to pull things off the tree. So I got to figure out how I'm going to do my stuff this year. But anyway, I got two of these to add to my stash. Here's the other two. Okay. Oh, I found these fun things in the tool section. This is sandpaper. And it says here that it is a sandpaper set, 36 pieces. And it says this is waterproof abrasive paper. And it tells you how many of each size you get. There's two of the P80, two of the P240, two of the P400. I have no idea what all that means. And then there's 10 each of the P80, P100, P150. Okay, so there's some waterproof ones and then there's some non-waterproof ones. But I'm going to throw that in my husband's Christmas stocking. He always loves having things in for his toolbox out in the shed. And then I found this, this light. This is a work light and there's the, the little thing on the back. You just have to add the batteries to it. I thought, well, I don't know. And there's a magnet on here as well. So that could be magnetized and you can use the light. Um... It looks like it takes three AAA, AAA batteries, and then you have a nice little fun work light that you can hang or magnetize. Fun little things like this. I don't know how effective it's going to be, but it's kind of a fun, cute thing for him to say and go, oh, yeah. It has 100 lumens. It's super bright. So if you're needing... That I thought was nice. I always like having those things. I'm also involved in a, a fall swap. So I was picking up some things for that swap. I found this, and I have to dig around and get the rest of my stuff out today for that swap. But I found these because I figured that would be nice. It's, you know, I love these paper flowers. I was looking specifically for orange and red. I couldn't find them. The only things I found were like bright pink. That's not exactly fall. This one I thought was a more muted color. So this, you know, I thought would be a little bit better to send. And then I also picked up some ribbons. Four little spools of ribbon. Three for the swap and one for my stash. So you have the orange gingham, the red and black gingham, or buffalo check, whatever you want to. And then the barns, that's uh, definitely farmhouse, but very fall looking. And then this, I don't remember seeing this before. Maybe I did, I just forgot about it. This glittery ribbon that I just think my granddaughters would go nuts for, at least Eleanor would. And so I'm going to look and see if there's a way to decorate one of her doll dresses or something. I did pick up a bunch of stickers. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those yet. I'm going to be looking for, I was looking for fall stickers, but these are adorable. I don't remember seeing these. And these are in the teaching tree section. So Jot has stickers and Crafter Square has stickers and teaching tree has stickers. Now the teaching tree stickers I thought would be like, good job, number one student, you know, A plus student, things like that, that would be for grading. But they're starting to come up with more of this kind of sticker. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to be offended. Those are adorable. The little bits of subtle glitter that aren't too much. I like that. This is exactly the kind of sticker I like. That really fine, fine glitter that doesn't come off. But they're also cute. They got almost a slightly kawaii look to them. A little bubble tea and all that. So that's cute. This was also a teaching tree sticker. These are Scratch and Sniff. So those are fun. I'm actually going to have to go back and get some more because it looks like there's thumbprints on there. Doesn't that look like a fingerprint? Can you see the, the, the rings or the textures on that? It looks like thumbprints on there. I don't know. Can y'all see that? I see it clearly here, but that must be the Scratch and Sniff stuff. Can you see that up there? I don't know if you can or not. Anyway, I didn't realize these were scratch and stiff until just now. Again, I can do away with that sticker. There's a 20, 20 stickers in there. 
These aren't my favorite. Again, a teaching street teaching tree sticker. I'm not really a big fan of these holographic, but the the little dogs on there were just way too cute for me to walk away from, so I had to. And then I did pick up some jewels, green hearts and, and amber colored jewels. That light's glaring. I picked these wax seal looking stickers. I packed the I, I picked these up. I'm gonna send some in my swap and the others I'm going to um, say for the pen pal program with the American Heritage Girls. They're all, um, they all have a little bit of a different little thing on them. These have the ocean, like seashells. I don't know if you can see the, the little em embossing in the center of those, like the, the clamshell here. And this is like the little um, curly snail shell and then different shells here. These are super cute. Yeah, and they have three different patterns on them. These were cute. Okay, and then this one here looks like it's like dandelion here, and it says hello, and, and this. A little more pastel colors, and these are in gold. So this has butterflies and bumblebees and a rose. So those are, are cute little stickers, although they seem like they can come off pretty easily. So I think putting a little glue on them to make sure they stick and don't fall off in the shipping. Um... And then I found vellum paper. I could not believe I found some vellum paper. So I picked some up for my swap and some for my stash. So there was this type with the butterflies, the gold and the uh, red butterflies. And then there was also this type, black stripes with the gold hearts. It looks like you get six sheets. And this, of course, is the Paper Craft brand of Crafters Square. So I was glad to see that we have some vellum paper, and I'm wondering how many more styles they have. My um, my Dollar Tree only had the two, and I looked. So I'll be keeping my eye out. Now that I know there's vellum paper, I like the the thickness of vellum paper and the sound that it makes. It's To me, it's really nice. There's an opaqueness that you can see something behind it, but not really too much. Okay, I did pick up another of this manuscript tablets. Uh, for the pen pal program. I like these because it has the lines. A lot of the girls that are in my group, um, they're, you know, six, seven, eight, and nine years old. And some of the younger girls are still struggling with their penmanship. So I thought I would get this. And when they're doing their little badge requirements for things, they can get the practice of using the lines to form the letters correctly, uh, using regular notebook paper, is not a good idea for quite a few of these girls. So I will have the option of this. So their penmanship can improve while they're in the process of, you know, learning and doing, learning their letters and sending letters to their friends in the pen pal program while they're earning their patch. Now this, I grabbed the last four here for stocking stuffers. This is, what product is this? This is from Schroeder and Tremaine Incorporated. These are designed in the US, but these are beauty spatulas. And if you look, they're designed to go into your beauty bottles and get every last drop of makeup or lotion or whatever. And they're very skinny with long handles. Do you see that? They had two different colors. The blue and the mauve. I got these. I got the last four. I'm going to look for one more because I need a fifth one. But I grabbed every last one of these for Christmas stock and stuffers. And you get two per container. And you can clean out every last drop of that makeup. I mean, you spend money on that makeup. A bottle of foundation? Come on. How much does that cost? And you're just going to toss it out without getting all the residue. Maybe I'm just too cheap. I don't know. But when I pay $30, $40, $50 for something, I want every last drop out of there. I'm not, 
I don't like the idea of throwing product away that I spent good money on. But this I was really surprised to see. And so there were the two colors, the blue and the pink. See if you guys can find these. I like how it says, use every drop. <laughs> that's, that's me. That's what I want to do. Okay. And the last few things are in the Christmas decoration, or not Christmas decoration, Christmas gift wrapping. I'll uh, start with the tags that I picked up. These are the booklets of sticker tags. And it looks like there's uh, 104 in these two books and then 52 in this one. I'll start with the 52. Okay, so here's what the front looks like. These are easy to pull out. These are super convenient. I really love the stickers. But you'll see what these look like. I love that one. I wish they gave more room for you to write. I mean, there's not a whole lot to write who it's from. I mean, if it's from Gigi and Papa, there's not a whole lot of room to write Gigi and Papa. That's my only complaint with some of these labels. I don't think they give you enough room. The candy is really cute. Some of them have just the little faint light dusting of glitter around it that's not really showing up on the, um, the camera. But all of them have like his beard has a little dusting of that really fine iridescent glitter, as does this, as does this. And it's not really showing up, but it's very pretty. It's just, in my opinion, the right amount. There's even a little bit there. Okay, the next one looks like this. Very cute. Again, you're looking at the fine glitter, iridescent glitter in the beard and down here. It's not really showing up right there. The ho, 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 all of them have that iridescent glitter. Very cute. I'd have to say my favorite is Santa Claus down here. But they're all really pretty. Look at that pretty poinsettia. Candy canes have the little fine glitter on them. Really nice. This one, oh, this one's super cute. Look at this one. Oh, I love it. Again, with the fine iridescent glitter. This one's super cute with the candy on it. Fa la 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 la. Snowman. Coco. I, I just about like everything on this page. Very cute. And then here's, oh, this one's adorable too. Look at that. I like that this one gives you a variety of styles. So, mm, the gingerbread are doing it for me on this one. But look how cute those are. Oh, there you can see the glitter there. Yeah. It's the fine glitter all over these. Each of them has a little touch of it that you can really see it on this one. Yeah, these are really cute. I love it. So it's four sheets. Okay. This one has 104, and it seems to be having a certain theme, but I don't know if it's going to be like the last one. This one's cute. It's got the plaids and vintagey looking Santas, snowmen. Very nice, like traditional Christmas. Then you have this page. Very nice. I like it. Again, I these never seem to give you enough room to write the name. Very cute. The barn, Mr. and Mrs. Claus. These go fast from everything that the people I'm in touch with at the Dollar Tree, the managers and all that. They, they said, we've got a ton more of boxes of Christmas items in the back, but good that you're buying the, the tags now because those things go. Once they come out, they literally disappear. So if you need Christmas tags, I'd advise you to get them as soon as you can. Okay, these are all adorable. Oh, look at these. And then I, it looks like it repeats. So it looks like you get two sheets of each kind. So that was what? Six sheets? Self-adhesive. 
Let's see. One. All right, eight sheets. You get eight sheets, and the, the last one was only four. So this is a really good deal for $1.25. I don't mind this sticker on something like this, on something that could be given as a gift. They need to do something else with that. They need to find another way to label it because nobody wants to receive a gift that's got a sticker that cannot be removed that says how much it costs. Dollar Tree, you got to do better than that. This is the other book that I found. There may be more. I'm not sure, but these were the ones that I found. Okay, and again, it looks like there's two sheets of each type with eight sheets total and these that have over 100, 104. Those are super cute. Nice woodsy pine cone natural things. Okay, this one's cute. I like the penguin. And the polar bear. Super cute. Okay. Third style. I always liked seeing a tag that had my name on it as the recipient. <laughs> And this last one is red, white, and black. Look at that. That's different. Cute. Santa's uh, taking the color palette from Santa, his uniform or his, his suit, and then it just repeats. So two sheets each to make 104. That's really nice. And, and then I... You know, I just realized I'm missing a bag that had some other window clings in it. I'll find it and do another tag. Then I picked up one each of what I could find of these types of tags. I love these as well. These types of tags. They're adorable. You can use these in paper crafting, not just for gift giving. I've actually used these as bookmarks before, but they all come with strings right here, um, all bound up together in one. So let's go th through the different styles. You have this one. These are all super cute, Joy. I think though my favorite would be this tree, and it says, "'Tis the season to be jolly." Although that snowman's awful cute. And then, of course, on the back is the two from. So you don't have to worry about the design being disrupted by handwriting. Okay, that's the first one. The second one is this blue and silver. I'm probably leaning towards the snowman or the reindeer on this one. Very nice if you like that color palette. I have quite a few. I have wrapping paper that this would match. It's the blue and the silver. And then we have this one, super cute, with the little whimsical penguin and Santa, this, the polar bear, snowman, and reindeer. Of these, I think I'm favoring the penguin. Super cute. And it looks like you get 25 of each, so five of each. And this last one, once again, very whimsical. You have a reindeer, polar bear, Santa, penguin, and a snowman. And I think the snowman is the one I'm looking at. Very cute. I love these. I didn't see any other styles. That doesn't mean there aren't more styles. It's just I was breezing through there yesterday. And then last, oh wait, nope, here is the window clings. They had several window clings, and my, I know my, I just made the camera move. That was something underneath. Okay, I picked up these two sets of window clings. These I thought, now window clings, these are small. I got them small because if you put a little bit of like a glue stick on it, you can use these as regular stickers and they'll stick on the paper with that little bit of glue. So I liked these small ones. I wanted the options open, but I primarily got these for my granddaughters to be kind of a fun activity for them to, um, you know, stick onto the little dry erase board or something so that they could have fun making a scene. Here's the first one. I'm loving this 
this one down there. It's really super cute. And then the other one was this one, Merry and Bright. I thought these were cute. You can see the glitter on these just a little bit. Just a touch. But these are super cute. I love this snowman here, but also the little penguin up in the corner. So cute. These I thought would be fun for my granddaughters to just enjoy, especially Nora. She's little and she likes getting into stuff. So giving her something she can use and sitting down with her and letting her make a, make a picture on the wall instead of coloring, see if she can stick those clings on there. And last, I picked up three Christmas bags. I got these because they look very much like Thomas Kincaid, his work. And these are just beautiful. As always with the, the Dollar Tree gift bags, the front side will have the texture and the glitter. And the back, the picture in the back does not have the glitter, but it's the same picture. These are gorgeous. Um, this part can be taken off, of course. I'm going to cut that because it's not perforated. You have to cut it. You can't just rip that off. But look at how gorgeous this is. I mean, just beautiful. And I, I mean, this is almost frameable. The artwork is so pretty on this. Look at that. I love it. And there's two sides to this because I always look at things from a paper crafting perspective. I mean, if you, if you are on a budget and you need to have some pretty art on your wall for the holidays, go find you a thrift store frame and then... Cut this image out and stick it in that frame and see what happens. I mean, I know there's holes up at the top, but I'm sure you can disguise that with some kind of a sticker snowflake that looks like this, right? And of course, there's the back. The side is probably this plaid. Yeah, there it is. The side is always, these are such pretty uh, gift bags to be only a dollar and a quarter. Here's the next one. Gorgeous. Just look at that can see the detail up close very nice I mean and your Christmas decorations are they're up for the Christmas holidays right so why not have something that looks cozy and inviting I mean just wonderful just beautiful and of course the side is what's on that sticker or what's on that card there and again you have to cut that off you can't rip it because it's not perforated and then the last one is this it's like a little village up close love the little touches of light glitter it's like where the the sun, moonlight would hit the snow and make it sparkle you know I just love it. It's so beautiful. Right? Look how pretty that is. Now that was three. Oh, and the side is like that. These are just gorgeous. I love these. And there's the tag that, of course, you need to trim that off because the price is not perforated. But these are just gorgeous. You can have some very classy looking wrapped gifts. I'm going to be wrapping presents today from our uh, little venture out Friday to Yorktown. Get some of those things taken care of and then clean and organize things so that I can get the Christmas tree out for our bedroom upstairs. And so I'll be filming as I'm taking out my Hallmark Christmas tree ornaments and putting them on the tree. That's going to be so fun. But you guys have a great day. What are you finding at Dollar Tree? Are you finding any of these things? What are your favorite things? And is there anything I showed that's not in your stores yet? Please comment below and let us know because you know how it is with Dollar Tree. Some areas will get one something and other areas nothing. And so that frustrates me because we're right in the neighborhood where the Dollar Tree headquarters is. We ought to get everything in my opinion, but... You guys have a great day. God bless you and bye until next time.